welcome back to my channel my name is Hannah and today I have put together for you this gold glitter cut crease with a lot of glow on my face so if you want to know how I got this look please keep watching so I will be starting off with my Olay moisturizer and I will have this in the description box down below then I'm going to be using my baby skin by Maybelline and this just basically puts a very thin cover over your pores to make them look spotless. Then I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the foundation stick and this is in the shade beige. And I will also be taking my original beauty blender and just blending it all down. Remember when you are blending to always blend down to your neck, everybody. It is very, very, very important. <laughs> Then I will be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and this is in the shade Medium Brown. And the spoolie fell off, so I have to use another spoolie that I have. <laughs> but I am just going to start at the bottom and outline my brows. And I will be pulling the line just a little bit further on the end where my brow ends. I'll be finishing that off just a little bit. I'm going to do it on both sides and then I'm going to start on the top as well, outlining the top of my brow. Then I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo and this is in the same shade medium brown. And this is where I'm just going to take it and fill in the front part of my brows and take the powder all the way through just to blend it all nice and even. And I periodically use a spoolie just to kind of put the product all together and make it look more natural. Then I'm going to be carving out my brows. I'm going to be using this NYX concealer and this concealer brush that I got. I will have it linked down below. It just came in like a 24 pack set of makeup brushes off Amazon. And then I'm also going to be using, I'm going to put it on there, but I'm going to be using my ring finger to blend it all out. So I apply it with the concealer brush and blend it with my ring finger. Then I will be using this Benefit. I can't remember the name of this, but it basically is just a tinted spoolie to kind of pull all your hair down. Then I'm going to be using my NARS Contour and Highlight Stick. This is the lightest shade duo that they do have. And I'm going to be contouring my face with this. I will be taking a Morphe contour brush and just kind of blending out the harsh lines a little bit. And then once it's blended out, I will go in and completely blend it in with my Beauty Blender. And you are going, when you are ever contouring, you want to make sure that you are blending completely as much as possible. You don't want any harsh lines on your face. Once it is all blended in, then what I'm going to do is take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I will highlight underneath both of my eyes in the middle of my nose, small amount on my forehead and on my chin. When you are highlighting, always make sure you do underneath your eyes in a triangle shape because that is the way that the light falls on your face so it makes it look more natural when highlighting in those areas. And once again, I'll be taking my original Beauty Blender and blending in everything. Then I'm going to end up setting my face, and I use Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set my face. This is the best translucent setting powder in my opinion. There's no flashback. It sets it perfectly. And I will be doing underneath my eyes, underneath the contour on my jaw. And I don't know about you, but I get really bad laugh lines with some of my foundation. So I set my laugh lines as well so it doesn't crease up and cake on me in the middle of the day. To start my eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. And then I'm going to be taking this flat eyeshadow brush and the color Basic from the Laura Lee Violet Loss Palette. 
and just putting that all over my lid. And this is just basically prime the eyes so it's easier to blend out shadows later on. Have to pose real quick. <laughs> I'm going to be using this eye pointed eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be using, I believe that's Britches. And go in and what I'm going to do is start in my crease and as I go to the outer edge of my eye, I'm going to kind of be sharpening it up a little bit and this is going to give that cut crease effect that you want. So you're going to start in your crease and just kind of drag that line out going towards your, the end of your eyebrows. And I'm going to be going in with a few different shades and just darkening it up and blending it out as I go. That's Alabama that I'm going to be using next. It's more of a maroon cool tone eyeshadow. And then I'm also going to be using Whiskers in a little bit and that is a more brown chocolatey color. Of course I had something on my head. I always get something on my face when I'm filming. <laughs> So I'm just going to be going in darkening up that crease. I'm not doing anything with the lid. I'm just going to be blending and applying darker shadows right there. And when you blend, you don't want to blend down onto your lid at all. You just want it to be at the top. Then I'm going to be taking the same concealer that I used to carve out my brows and the same brush and I am going to basically carve out the crease in my eyes, in my eyes, on my eyeshadow. <laughs> and you want to just do where your crease is normally on your eye and then you're going to drag out the concealer out to where you also made the eyeshadow earlier. So you're just carving it out where you had already placed it to be. You're going to do that on both sides and you want to be as precise as possible. So it's really good to have good brushes for this and good concealer. And the reason I'm doing concealer for this look is because I'm going to be putting glitter on my eyes and this will make the glitter stick exactly where I want it to. I'm going to be taking the Master Palette by Mario and I'm going to be using the bright glittery gold color and I believe that's Hollywood, I might be mistaken. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm just going to put that everywhere that the concealer already was. Then I'm going to be going back in with whiskers and darkening up that same area that I had already done. I'm not touching anything with the concealer or the glitter. I am just darkening up what's already there. And then I'm going to blend out the top as well, not touching the concealer or the glitter. And then I'm going to be taking this Morphe powder brush and brushing away all of that excess powder from baking. So I can look a little bit more human now <laughs> instead of a ghost. Then I'm going to be using my NYX liquid eyeliner. And I'm sorry the view isn't so good with my eyeliner. I had to make sure it was perfect and I couldn't get too close to the camera. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to basically wing it out for this look. When you're winging it out, you don't want to go too high or too low. You want to be able to have your wing, the middle cut crease color, and then the top cut crease color. For my eyelashes, I'll be using Kiss Lashes, and these are available just at Walgreens. These are very high quality lashes for just drugstore products. They're very good lashes. I love them a lot. Don't mind my eyelash applying face. <laughs> Then I'm going to go back in with whiskers and that pointed brush that I started with 
and I'm just going to be smoking out my lower lash line. This is just to add some definition to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to be taking my Maybelline mascara and applying it to the top and bottom lashes. It's very important to have mascara on when you have on um, fake lashes because it just adheres them together. Then I'm going to be taking my NYX bronzer and just warming up my face a little bit. I decided not to use any blush for this look, but if you want to, this is where you would apply it. Then I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner. This is the best eyeliner. It is expensive, but it will not smudge on you at all the entire day. It will stay underneath your eyes. For my highlighter, I will be using Rodeo Drive, and that is by, who is that by? <laughs> That's by Ofra. Why can I not say that? And then I'm going to be taking these two brushes to apply that on my face. I will be smoking out it with the smaller fan brush and applying larger segment segments with the larger brush and adding it to your nose and cupid's bow and eyebrow bone. <laughs> Why can I not talk today? For my liquid lipstick, I will be using Ofra by, and this is the shade San Paul, I believe. And that is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends and family. I'll see you next time.